Revenons. Et je, je, prends, je vous prends à témoin aujourd'hui, si je suis président demain, Bokoyo Kate, que le président a laissé des milliards dans son compte. Il a, non, mais je vais laisser des choses à la République pour qu'on pense à moi à travers ma œuvre. Oui. Reparlons de votre programme. Que va-t-il se passer si vous êtes élu le 30 décembre Quelles seront vos premières je décisions. ferme d'abord tous les cachots de la République. Tous les cachots, là, un air, des miaps, machin. Tout là où ils enferment nos, nos compatriotes un jour. Félix Antoine Tshisekedi de Tshilimbo, born 13th June 1963, is a Congolese politician who has been the president of the Democratic Republic of Congo since 24th January 2019. He is the leader of the Union for Democracy and Social Progress, UDPS, the DRC's oldest and largest party, succeeding his late father Etienne Tshisekedi, that role three-time prime minister of Zaire and opposition leader during the reign of Mobutu Sese Seko. Tshisekedi was the UPDS party's candidate for president in the December 2018 general election, which he was awarded despite accusations of irregularities from several election monitoring organizations and other opposition parties. Constitutional Court of the DRC upheld his victory after another opposition politician, Martin Fayulu, challenged the result. Mati Shekedi has been accused of making a deal with his predecessor, Joseph Kabila. The election marked the first peaceful transition of power since the state became independent from Bedijam 1960. Shekedi, a member of the Luba ethnic group, was born in Kinshasa on 13th June 1963 to a mother, Mate, and father, Eti who served as Prime Minister of Zaire in the 1990s. He had a comfortable life as a youth in the capital, but when his father created the UDPS in the early 1980s, publicly opposing Mobutu, Felix was forced to accompany him into house arrest in his native village in central Kasai. This put his studies on hold in 1985. Mobutu allowed him, his mother and his brothers to leave Kasai. He went on to live in Brussels, Baliji, where he worked at odd jobs and became an active UDPS member. In late 2008, Shekedi was named the UDPS National Secretary for External Relations. In November 2011, he obtained a seat in the National Assembly representing the city of Mubuji, Mai, in Kasai Oriental Province. He did not take his seat, citing a fraudulent election, and his mandate was invalidated for absenteeism. In May 2013, he refused a position at the Independent National Election Commission saying that he did not want to put his political career on hold. As seen in Article 17 excludes membership for those who are members of a political formation. On October 2016, Tshekedi became Vice Secretary General of the UDPS. On 31st March 2018, he was elected to lead the UDPS after his father's day. On 1st February 2017, the same day, the UDPS nominated him for president in the December 2018 general election. On 10th January 2019, it was announced that Tshekedi had won presidency of the DRC in the December 2018 election. He defeated another opposition leader, Martin Fayulu and Emmanuel Ramazani Shadda, who were supported by term limited outgoing President Kabila, who had been president for 18 years. Runner-up alleged rigging Fayulu and challenged the election result. On 19th January, the Constitutional Court dismissed the challenge officially making Tshisekedi president-elect. was sworn in as president on 24th January 2019, taking office the next day. This marked the first time since the Congo gained independence in 1960 that an incumbent president peacefully transferred power to the opposition. On 20th January, South Africa congratulated Tshisekedi on his election despite 
the African Union and EU warning of doubts over the result announced by the Constitutional Court. After Tshisekedi was sworn in, it was reported that a member of Kabila's coalition would be picked to serve as his prime minister. On 12th April 2021, Tshisekedi formally ended his two-year coalition with Kabila and his allies when Prime Minister Sama Lukonde formed a new government. On national television, Tshisekedi's spokesman Kasongo Mwema Yamba Yamba announced a number of new appointments, including Antoine Nsamba Kalambayi as Mines Minister. The president succeeded to oust the last remaining elements of his government who were royal to Kabila. Tshisekedi has called for a review of mining contracts signed with China by his predecessor Joseph Kabila, especially the Siko Mines multi-billion minerals for infrastructure deal. He has also promised to end and reverse deforestation in the Democratic Republic of Congo by 2030 in the, in the CEO 20th Six climate summits first major agreement. In October 2022, Tshisekedi ruled out bringing in Russian mercenaries to help quell wagging conflict in the east of the country and vote to press on with economic development plans despite the insecurity in the region. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.